for RGB contact lenses once you fit you check the fit in the slit lamp okay with the fluorescent so do a proper fluorescent evaluation and then you should go about doing the over refraction okay so whatever over refraction you are getting so that you prescribe so while writing the prescription same way we write base curve suppose it is written 7.70 so base curve we write 7.70 stroke the power suppose minus 5 stroke the diameter 9.20 so whatever it is there same way we will prescribe it okay but you should be very sang you should be sanguine about the fit and then only you should go about you should not uh, change the base curve of diameter because like whatever fit you are getting whatever feet you are getting if you are changing the base curve by 0 0.05 mm okay so it can if you are increasing the base curve means it you are flattening the feet if you are decreasing the base curve means you are uh, steepening the feet so we can alter the feet if required but normally uh, suppose with 7.70 base curve we have tried on the patient size and after wearing the you have seen that it is very a little bit steep so go with a 7.75 base curve contact lens okay so 0 0.05 mm we with 0 0.05 mm we uh, like increase and steps in the 0 0.05 mm steps we increase and then we see the final fit so you fit the contact lenses give the patient time for settlement in, in the eyes and then you put a fluorescent and see the fluorescent fit characteristics this is for all for RGB fitting so you should be very careful about this so RGB lenses have different solution you use okay so GP advanced or any GP care any kind of solution you use for the RGB contact lenses and other type of solutions you use for the soft contact lenses okay so well, let me give you a practical example okay a patient came to me uh, he she is using 20 years RGB contact lenses okay but what is the problem she came that suddenly she is feeling blurred images okay so when I checked her cornea and all I removed the lens and checked her cornea I saw some kind of corneal warpage why because the epithelium is a little bit scratched so I have to treat the cornea first and then I can uh, give her contact lens again but I will suggest a patient who is wearing RGB contact lens tell them if the patient is able to wear a soft contact lens tell them we can switch the patient to soft contact lens why because soft contact lenses are very much comfortable for the eyes so specifically RGB contact lenses we give for irregular cornea keratoconus patients okay mind it like if you do a very good RGB fitting yes you can actually for keratoconus patients you can definitely improve the vision a lot okay so when i was in Coimbatore, uh, patients used to come from uh, Thirupur, Uti, Kunur and all it they were uh, referred to me so uh, having get grade 2 or grade 3 grade 4 keratoconus also i have put an rgb lens and tried okay just see if the vision improves see whether the keratoconus cone is getting touched or not okay so when you fit an R, fit a rgp contact lens the keratoconus cone should be spared fine if you are confident in your fit if the patient is very comfortable definitely you can go about with an rgp with a rgp contact lens if the keratoconus is so much progressive that rgp contact lens is not fitting that time you can go switch on to higher modes like mini scleral lens, scleral lens and all but definitely scleral lenses sits on the sclera so it does not touch the cornea definitely it is much beneficial but for the cost factor we sometimes try with the RGP contact lenses so you have to be very if you do the fitting properly it won't be a problem for keratoconus fit if you try a good RGP and if you if you are having if you practice well so it won't be a problem Thank you.